Yeah, perfect. What? We're doing a Sonic? No, the headset right now. Oh, oh. You know, I'll take your order. <laughs> Where's the mirror? Oh, my hair's a mess. There we go. All right. How are you guys doing today? Enjoying the beautiful weather? All right, I'm going to go into a little detail about myself. Uh, just returning back to college, but also on the side, I do resident managers. Uh, resident manager. How many people rent apartment, housing, or a condo right now? All right, so you guys pretty much have dealt with somebody like me. What, uh, what got me into it was actually I had a slumlord. And back when I was in just starting off, about 23 years old, I was a resident at a 23 unit apartment complex in El Cajon. And what ended up happening was a lot of maintenance wasn't getting done in my apartment. I know you guys probably can relate to that. You guys got things that you need to be done to your apartment, written in uh, writing and submitted into your resident manager. And it's a pain, it's understandable. So one day, I found out that my resident manager was leaving, uh, packing up her U-Haul, didn't tell us any of the tenants anything about it, and she was leaving. So I asked her, I said, okay, how do I become a resident manager? I was working at SeaWorld at the time, great customer service skills. I'd been able to talk to people face to face and so forth. So I've submitted my resume, turned an application. Two days later, I got a call back saying if I could come in and do an interview. I did one interview. Second interview was in person with the actual owner of the company. So as I am nervous now, I was nervous then as well. You're on the spot. He's telling me that nobody that's ever been a tenant has been ever hired to be a resident manager. So I'm fighting the odds. And I wanted the job. I wanted the experience so that it could lead to something more in life. One thing I'm trying to shoot for with being a resident manager is also going into property management, who is the person the resident manager reports to on a daily to weekly basis. So my key parts here that I brought in, uh, I've actually got some to hand out to you guys. Uh, I didn't really want to show it up there. These are just some of the papers that I deal with on a daily basis. And my card's on the front. I actually decided to make those because I've had a lot of people asking me if I had a business card, so forth. I didn't at the time, so I made my own business cards. So excuse the uh, arts and crafts. And like I said, the one thing I love about this job is I get to meet different people every day. And that's another reason why I like coming to the school. You meet different people every day. I have yet to meet everybody in the class, but I've met a few. One thing I have to do, uh, per se, to running an apartment is getting this application filled out by the prospective tenant. With that, they bring it back. I make sure it's completely filled out back to side with the signature and the date, which is very valid because you need to have that in order to actually do a credit check. Once I get the application, I start the process of verifying, which is on the next page, the employment and rental history. And this basically just states, you know, if they have income coming in, I check to see their, what income they have coming in. And then their previous rental history, see what their resident manager before me had something to say about them and how they were renting from the property. The one thing I love is legality terms. And this is just an example of the 11 page lease I get to deal with every day. This 11 pages basically just protects not only the property, but myself as a resident manager and the tenants coming in. There's three points in which we have to get signatures on it. And basically these are just used for any purpose in which we have to go to court for. And being a resident manager, I've had a lot of issues with going to court, people not paying their rent on time. I've had situations where uh, people tried to sue me personally because I wasn't doing a good job at being a resident manager. So my long-term goal for this job is to work on my customer service skills. I have actually got up in front of about the size of this at my property and have done a town hall meeting just to get in touch with the tenants 
to make sure that I don't end up being a perform more. So when you guys are in that time phase that you want to go out and you want to rent your first apartment or your house or your condo, make sure you ask as many questions as you can. Because somewhere along the line, if it doesn't get asked and you don't read it in this lease, it can get you in the long run. And this is the main thing right here. It's just you want to make sure that you get this done. If there's something wrong with that apartment, you make sure it's in notice. So, that's, any questions? None? A little highlight of my life right there. 